stitches, which I will show you slowly close up. Easy peasy. So let's grab our yarn and needles and get started. Row three starts with a knit three for the edge. So that's one, two, and three. Then I have a star showing us that we have a repetition starting. So it starts with a purl one. Then we have our one, four left cross. And it's uh, explained up under special abbreviation. So if we take a look there, it tells us to slip a stitch to the cable needle and hold in front. So this is where the cable needle come in place. So we will take the next stitch, slip it like this going in from the front. So we're not twisting it and then just holding it here in the front of our work. And then we will knit four. So just keep holding on to it. Knit one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to knit this, this stitch here from the cable needle. So slide it up to the tip of your cable needle so that you can knit the stitch here from the tip of your cable needle, just like this. And as you can see, that stretch that first stitch across these four stitches that we knitted. So we now have our first left cross. Then I'm just gonna hold on to my cable needle because I'm gonna use it soon again, but I'm continuing in the repetition in the pattern where it tells us to purl one and then knit the next five. Two, three, four, and five. And then in the pattern, it tells us to repeat that over and over again to your last 10 stitches. And I have a small swatch here. So I'm already here now at my last 10 stitches. So I'll follow the directions for those and I will purl one. Then we'll do one more left cross. So put that stitch on the cable needle in front of work and then knit one, two, three, and four then push the stitch up to the tip of the cable needle whoops see that can happen easily just catch it again and then knit it then i can put my cable aside for now and continue the pattern tells me to purl one and then knit the next three so this finishes our row three and you will have several you will have one more of these uh, cross stitches across but this is what it looks like and we can turn to work row four so on row four we're going to make the right crosses but we'll start here now by knitting the first four two three and four and then pattern tells us to purl one and then we have the one three right cross so grab your cable needle again look under special abbreviation it tells us to slip one stitch and hold it in the back of work so now working yarn towards you go into the stitch and hold it here in the back just hold on to it and then the pattern tells us to purl the next three so one two and three and then we're going to purl that stitch on the cable needle. So push it up to the tip like this so that you can purl, purl it. And then I'm just going to stretch things out. And here in the back, we can't really see what we did. So I'm going to flip it over here and you can see that this stitch now that we pulled across is running across these stitches that we just knitted. So back to the finished piece, you can see how I just kept repeating all the rows with all the crossed stitches over and over again, then ended with a garter stitch edge also in the other end. And that finishes off the golden coins knit dishcloth.